Hello and welcome to the latest Play All Day Behind the Scenes blog. This time I'm talking Brookhaven's Next Top Criminal Season 3. So if you haven't seen it yet, go over to Play All Day and watch. This video does contain spoilers. Okay, so before I give some fun facts about this season of Brookhaven's Next Top Criminal, a fun fact about the entire series is that it was Hoptastic 2's idea. We'd already done Brookhaven's Next Top Model and Brookhaven's Next Top YouTuber, so she said, why not Top Criminal? And we instantly loved the idea and it's become one of our favorite series we've ever done. Now diving into fun facts for season three and our initial plans, which I made way back in the spring, the show was to play out much differently. We had our tax evasion guy who wasn't a very good criminal, our psychic magician, our cheating twin, and the character that would later become Ronnie was originally going to be a serial killer. So Albert was always planned to be the first eliminated. Um, the serial killer was actually gonna be next out. Then the twin leaving our magician in second place and our psychic was going to be our winner. But as we got deeper into planning, we decided a serial killer was a bit too dark. So we just made him very, very weird. And as I developed the character of Ronnie, I started to realize that this guy was gold and he needed to win the whole thing. So we kind of redid and switched things up and made him our winner. Once we started filming the uh, intro packages that shows all their crimes, I was getting more and more ideas for Ronnie. So Ronnie's kind of became huge, including this completely into improvised scene. Bang into the babies. Go cry, little baby. I was really just joking around as I recorded that, but Hoptastic and Hoptastic 2 were adamant that it had to go in the final video. No surprise on this fun fact, we're always putting Easter eggs and callbacks in videos, and there's a few in this series. Of course, we have a lot of Lenny references, including we showed his missing a poster a couple times. Another fun reference, after being eliminated, Albert is reading a book in his cell, and it is the book from our video, Brookhaven Rock Band, written by my character, Cat Bowie. Then in this episode two scene, you can see Edith Frankel's car parked at the bank. And if you don't know the significance of that, you really need to watch more play all day. Also in episode two, way in the background of this scene is a developed cherry road sign, which is another classic Flail Day reference. And this episode was full of references because it also features a scene of someone rocking out to some Lenny Spikehead music on a boat, and that person is Gina DeWitt of Who Sold It Best. A look around, she's in the background of a lot of videos. Then in the finale episode, there's a bit of lore, both old and new, in the Flames book. The Flame himself, uh, that's a callback to Brookhaven's Next Top Criminal Season 1. Uh, but in here, not only does he reference Edith Frankel and the Grey Gang and Straight Jacket Louie from Brookhaven Prison Christmas, but also he refers to the former second story of the motel, which was a thing once upon a time, as was a big parking garage, both of which the Flame is taking credit for burning down. And another interesting piece of info, the flame mentions his kids, his daughter Blaze, of course, appeared on season two of Brookhaven's Next Top Criminal. And he also has a son named Travis, who is in fact, Travis the Troll of Brookhaven's Next Top YouTuber and Brookhaven Trolls caught on camera. You see the resemblance, right? Also in the finale episode, because we're all about the details, we were sure to plainly show the paperclip that was responsible for Ronnie's win. Now for two early spoiler clues we snuck in. Number one is this statement by Haley in the very beginning of episode one. To buy a sweet multi-million dollar mansion. My sister lives there now. And if you look real close, you can see her twin sister on the treadmill of that multi-million dollar mansion. And finally, 
big clue. If you happen to pay close attention to the thumbnails, you notice Ronnie's picture is not faded out like the others. That was a big clue to his eventual victory. I've said it lots of times before and I'll say it again, we're always putting stuff like this in our videos, so pay attention and maybe you'll catch some. Thanks for watching and joining me for these fun facts about Brookhaven's Next Top Criminal Season 3. See you next time.